Reports of a mysterious virus causing pneumonia-like illnesses in China. China says the number of people infected by a mysterious respiratory virus has more than tripled over the weekend. Looking back, uh, the first announcement of an outbreak of pneumonia was reported by the Wuhan health authorities okay. um, in China on the 31st of December. What began as a regional outbreak in the city of Wuhan, China, is now spreading across Europe. How likely is an epidemic in the United States? Are we ready for it if it comes? How many could die? To unleash the full power of the federal government in this effort today, I am officially declaring a national emergency. Millions of healthcare and service workers cannot work from home during the COVID-19 crisis. They are on the front lines providing medical care, cleaning and protecting offices in airports and serving food. However, limited protections are leaving frontline workers vulnerable to coronavirus. Many of them have demanded an action plan on personal protective equipment. send a message to UCLA that the methods that they're using to reprocess our protective equipment is inadequate and not based on science. That the methods that we're using are not protecting us, that our, that our bosses are not protecting us, that UCLA is not following OSHA guidelines to protect us, and that the CDC is rolling back too many uh, safeguards for us. Remote work isn't an option for people like Maria, who, like millions of other Americans in fields like retail, dining, and other industries, can simply log on to software like Outlook, Zoom, or Google Hangouts to do her job. Estoy preocupada uh, por este virus. No me gustaría traerlo hacia mi casa, hacia mis seres queridos, o esparcirlo. Um, hacia las personas que van y reciben noches de nosotros. Necesitamos protección para evitar esparcir este virus. Many have questioned the government's preparedness in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. But the argument is that you bought yourself some time and you didn't use it to prepare hospitals, you didn't use it to ramp up testing. Right you're now, so, you're so, you're so disgraceful. It's so disgraceful the way you said it. Let, let me just, listen. Estamos preguntando por más protección y no la hemos recibido. Apenas hasta principios de esta semana nos llevaron máscaras 3M o máscaras de tela en la cual podíamos escoger una sola. Uh, las máscaras 3M podemos usarlas dos veces máximo y tirarlas a la basura. Las, fábrica, las máscaras de fábrica, que es como esta, tenemos que lavarlas diar diariamente. Facing the worst weeks of this pandemic ahead, healthcare, long-term care, and education frontline workers have called for an aggressive action to deliver billions of more pieces of personal protective equipment and life-saving supplies for the front lines. It's very important to understand that you will never send soldiers without ammunition to the fields to defend themselves. Then it's the same way that the healthcare providers, nurses, technicians, anybody that is actually having any contact in clinics or hospitals, they need to have proper equipment to defend themselves and to make sure that they don't get sick. Because the, one, the thing that we actually learned with SARS and MERS were that a lot of the casualties inside of the hospitals of people that were getting sick were actually healthcare providers. And that's something that we don't want as a system. And, you know, it's an investment of a couple of dollars per day per, per, per provider that's way cheaper than losing a doctor. 